Big up, big up, big up. Parole added to Predator Pastor sentence. The Court of Appeal on Friday gave its reason for overturning the 20 years at hard labor without parole sentence. Slapped and a 32-year-old pastor found guilty of rape. The 15-year-old girl was lured to his church compound in Chapleton, Clarendon on the pretext of offering her counseling in 2012. The court after hearing the matter in March this year, had refused the, for, the former clergyman appeal against the rape convict, but allowed the appeal against the sentence. The court, in its ruling, then ordered that the sentence be set aside and be suited instead by a sentence of 20 years imprisonment at hard labor with the stipulant that the convict serve a period of 13 years and 11 months imprisonment at hard labor before becoming eligible for a parole. In giving its reason for the decision on Friday, the appeal court pointed to the argument by the defense, which was agreed to by the Crown, that give that the just judge had failed to specify a period for the parole, it would fall to the appeal court to do so. It's also paid attention to argument by the defense that the judge failed to state how she had arrived at the sentence of 20 years imprisonment. The Crown, for its part, acknowledged that the judge would not have had the benefit of the sentencing guideline for us by the judge of the Supreme Court of Jamaica and the parish court which were introduced in 2017 of December. <laughs> pasta, pasta, pasta. Pasta boy, a rape off a little bit of them. And I talk about a counseling and prayer, Maggie. That's him, man. Slap enough to slap him, we. Portland Village, still in disbelief following the chopping death. When Nadian Thompson was a child, her twin, died and she said her own older brother Tyrone Thomas much to her soul solence assume the role as her twin brother Tyrone was two years older and they shared a unique bond being the only two among the six siblings who shared the same mother and father but since March she has been left in agony after the 26-year-old Tyrone was chopped to death in their community of Strawberry District in Portland, me and my brother have a ban, then take him from me. I don't remember my brother being a wrongdoer. He is always jovial and smile, also laughing. He is always running jokes. It really shaped me up bad. I don't know when I am going to get over this. I am just living with the memory because I never go see him again. Each day, I have to cry. Each night, I have to cry. It really hard. It was eight of us as siblings. And we were only ones with the same mom and same dad. Nadine told the news. My dad just bawled straight because he was my father's only son. My mother is not talking and hardly eating because she is shocked. I fear three times already. There is a picture and I can't look at it. I beg them to not send it to my phone. Me, maybe just catch heart attack and drop out same place on the stop. Nadina Venda said she ran away from her goods after hearing the news of her brother passing. From my brother died. I can't do nothing. I spent 25000 for buy a load. And when I got the news, I was so shocked that I run left everything, every single thing. And from that, I don't make back a dime. I have my two children to take care of. And I just can't make any more money. 
it's rough, it's really shocking. I can't understand. Come like me day in a one dream world right now. And me now wake up. She lamented. I took him as my twin. We were close. I took my poochie man as my twin brother. Them take him from me. If you are chop him, chop him. Somewhere where we can carry him, go doctor. But you almost chop off him head. Tyrone, also known as Poochie. Poochie man was a mason whom the resident told the Sunday news was highly respected even by elders because of his resourcefulness. He make coffin, him well, him fix gate, him fix everything. He is a hard working youth and an elderly man said reports are that about two AM on March 3rd. Tyrone was at a party at Fruitful Valley. Fruitful Vale district when an argument developed between him and a Carvel Blackett, otherwise called Ada, of Binslane in Strawberry District. Police said Thompson left the party for her home and as on his way home allegedly met an attack by a black blackett who reportedly chopped him to death with a machete. The police urged Mr. Blackett to surrender himself. He was being sought for questioning on Tuesday, March 8th. Blackett was arrested and charged with that dis demise. When the news visited the community, residents even was not a party but instead a candlelight for a woman who had recently passed away in the community. The residents also claimed that Tyrone and Blackett was good friends. The two of them are my friends, a good youth them. So this just crazy to see. I can't believe it all now. Them a friend. I don't know what happened. I can't believe friend can do that to a friend. A man said. Nadine told the news that she just Janow my viewers, it's rough though, but we'll give you the rest of the story and this in another upload so stick around for this story and more businessman died from accidental shooting while hunting in portland a 54 year old james business st james businessman died after being accidentally shot with his own weapon while hunting deer in Oak Bay. Portland on Sunday morning. The deceased has been identified as David Dog Watkins of Brandon Hill, St. James. The Corporate Communication Unit, CCU, the Police Information Arm, confirmed the shooting, which has been labeled as death by misadventure. The accidental shooting reportedly occurred about 7 a.m. when Watkins reportedly died as a result of injuries he sustained after slipping and fall which a cause is licensed shotgun to be discharged he was hit in the side and was transported to port antonio hospital where he was pronounced the shoot by miss adventure a representative of the ccu said